So, what's the plan? Behold, this is the last of the material I have in the second bundle. I've already processed that first bundle. It's gone. I washed the sheet. It's folded out of the way. This is the second bundle. And you'll note this is where I've just opened it up. I've made the bed. I've put a little sheet on the bed to catch any like loose thread or dust or anything. And I'm, this is the same bundle from the last video where I was pulling out all those polyester squares. And so I'm, I'm being mindful that there's more polyester squares in here. You can already see where I've kind of started uh, des uh, designating where I'm going to be putting those piles as I'm going through this. No, there's no motion picture for this. I was just taking little snaps with my phone because it was a, a spur of the moment. Oh my gosh, I've got some time. I'm going to do some of this sorting. And it's a relaxing exercise, to be honest. But... Guys, there's a little bit of pressure going on here. Uh, here we see where I've got a whole lot of, I've got a whole lot of cotton this time around, but there's also some of this fabric which is not cotton, not polyester. It's slick, um, like someone was making clothes, and these are the scraps from the clothes. A lot of luxurious fabrics, really uh, silky and slick, satiny. It's probably a bunch of poly blend, and I'm just ignorant. <laughs> But it's pretty. It's really pretty. Um, and I'm getting some inspiration off of this stuff. So I am isolating it, putting it over to the side, because I am saying to myself, hey, I'm wanting to make quilts. And then, or I want to make a quilt, and then make another project, and then come back to the second quilt. Like, let the motor cool down a little bit <clears throat> on my sewing machine. <laughs> what? I've got a little bit of pressure here. I did some numbers. I've been looking at the calendar. I've been looking at past footage. I'm seeing some before and after. Uh, really trying to kick myself, you know, into gear to really buckle down and do some of this stuff. And I um, want to respect the other members of my household. And I really want to get this fabric better looking as you've if you were standing at the door of my bedroom, like I forgot to close the door, <laughs> and you look in there, you peep in and see, oh, this is the master bedroom, I would want you not to see the large tower of fabric. You've seen it in other videos. I don't have to show it again. Um, let's, let's focus here on this positive image where I'm going through this fabric and I'm finding all these beautiful patterns and colors and yeah that's great euphoria but um spring cleaning bug has kind of hit I've been tidying up the garden I've been working outside in the farm and every chance I get which isn't very much I mean we've had rain we've had cold but the the winter is over and there's a lot of work that has to happen outside so whenever I'm seeing this fabric in the raw stage, when it's still in kitchen bags, when it's still in these cloth bundles, I f I'm feeling the tug of guilt. I'm like, man, I do not want to see that. I don't want my husband to have to see that. I don't want my, my son bringing over friends and they looking over, you know, my side of the bedroom and wall of fabric <laughs> just like this. Uh, and I've been praying because I think only God's going to be able to help me with this but I've been praying on you know how can I get this to look better how can I look, make this look more presentable my office is crammed full I don't believe I can make any more room in my in my storage area for for just hiding this fabric 
and I don't really want to hide it. Look at these beautiful folded. I need this to be accessible. Eventually I want to get this stuff sorted by the color. You know, the yellows and the reds. Because right now I'm just folding it by type of material and size. Like how much of the material I have. Y'all know this. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for watching my video. And this is the poly that I found so far. No, here it is, end of the night. I didn't get done. You can see where the poly pile has grown after spending maybe another hour and a half sorting into the night. And it has come to the time where we actually got to use the bed, <laughs> which is my sorting area. Uh, for those of you who are new, my house is only like 1,050 square foot. It is a small home by design. I designed it myself. Small house, small mess. I was looking in my office trying to see if I could squirrel away more fabric somewhere or was there a void? Was there a place I can condense? And as I was doing that, I was recounting how many containers, how many packages of fabric did I have left? If you recall, back in September, when I numerated, well, it might have been October by that time, but I figured out the quantity of the whole hippo. There was 40 bags of just fabric. And then there was like a couple of containers, large totes of just notions and books and ribbons and button and thread. So we're not counting that, that stuff. Just 40 kitchen bags full of fabric. And that was to go on top of the 10 bags I already, that already existed before the hippo show up. So there was like the antelope at the beginning and then this large hippo endowment. And I've got this commitment to this fabric. And that's why I'm making this vlog for emotional support. <laughs> so put some, put some emotionally supporting comments below. Let me know what you think of this whole or ordeal. After this bundle is taken care of, this point on my bed, look. Look at it. This is what it looked before. And now you can see just how far I got into the evening hours. Right here. This is how much is left from 40 bags. I've only after this bundle, I've only got 24 more bags to go. So it took six months, but hey, I wasn't really, um, I was not rushing myself. And I was thinking maybe I need to now kind of put some deadlines. Uh, how many bags are in the bedroom that need to be placed into the office? And uh, what can I do in my office to help move some of this material over? And I have found that if I fold this stuff nice and crisp, not only does it look neat, not only am I getting an image in the back of my mind about what fabric there is, but it is fitting in better. Like it's, it is locking into place a lot better than those kitchen bags. The kitchen bags are thin, they're ripping, there's holes. I don't want stuff getting dirty. And I've got these heavier duty bags to stuff this stuff in. So continue watching. I'm going to put another, I've already filmed some more updates at the time of this filming. So I think you'll be pleasantly surprised of the outcome. Thanks guys. See you soon.